ahead and attach the fins by putting the nose in first and then secure the screw. It uses a two and a half millimeter Allen included in the kit. Next, you're gonna attach the frame. To do this, you'll use the frame, both pontoons, lay them out and get them spaced. May take a little adjustment and you'll use the included hardware and Allen keys to attach all four bolts to the inserts in the frame, or inserts in the pontoon. To install the batteries, you'll open up the hatches by unscrewing them. The batteries have their slot cut in the foam and the Velcro on the bottom to secure them there. And plug them in using an XT90 connector. The connector is keyed, it can only go in one way. Once you're done, you'll close up the lids, same way you took them off, and you can use a hatch wrench if you need to to tighten them down all the way. Otherwise, it'll just be hand tightening, no special tools required. To install the arm nav, you'll place the box over the holes on the pontoon. Then you'll use the included 1032 hardware to line the box up with said holes. And then the wing nuts will slide on down below and tighten down to secure the box. Once the box is installed, you'll use the arm nav cables to connect the box to the pontoons. This is required for operation. That is how the AutoNav sends its signal over to the pontoons. Each connector is keyed. There is a wide notch on the top along with four other smaller notches down below. These will line up into their assigned slots. In each side, there is a male and female cable for each. They cannot be plugged into anywhere else other than the port and starboard connectors, which are labeled.